Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a benchmark comparison video, kind of like a review video for the Threadripper 9000 series. So this is going to be the 24 core, which there's not a lot of content out there regarding the 24 core 48 thread 9960X, which is the entry level Threadripper. This is the cheapest way to get 24 cores on the Threadripper, so I kind of consider this the entry point for the TRX50 platform for those that are wanting to get into a true high-end desktop um, but don't really need something like 64 cores or 32 cores or any of those higher core count, especially in the Threadripper Pro line, trying to keep the budget somewhat sane um, while still getting the benefit of the additional PCIe lanes and the quad channel memory and things of that nature, which we will be looking at in the benchmarks here. So for comparisons here, I do have the previous generation Threadripper 24 core, so the 7960X, which I think is the most direct comparison to show the generational improvements going from Zen 4 based Threadripper to Zen 5 based Threadripper. And one of the biggest changes is the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs, and this is, applies to Threadripper as well, feature the full AVX512 data path. So that means a single clock cycle now can complete an AVX512 workload. Previously, with the previous generation Threadripper, it required two clock cycles per instruction. So that is something that could potentially show some pretty significant uplifts moving to the 9000 series from the previous generation. Now, for other CPUs to compare this with, the only other ones I have are flagship CPUs from the mainstream segment. So that would be things like this 9950X3D Ryzen CPU, as well as the standard non-X3D 9950X. So we're gonna take a look at the two 16 core, one with vCache, one without vCache, to see how much of a benefit you get from going with a Threadripper platform as opposed to a dual channel mainstream desktop platform, which is what those are. And then I have some benchmarks from the previous Zen 4 based 7950X. And then finally, I have the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K flagship desktop CPU from Intel. This is currently Intel's 24 core, 24 thread. So, but it's on a dual channel platform, so it's technically it's mainstream and it has limited PCIe lanes, just like the regular Ryzen base desktop platform from AMD. So just, I wanted to include the Intel platform just to show what an Intel 24 core desktop can do. Although remember, it doesn't have quad channel memory like Threadripper's and it doesn't have hyper-threading anymore because Intel decided to omit the hyper-threading feature from their Core Ultra series for some reason that's a little bit unknown at this point. But anyway, that is going to be it for the CPUs. Let's go ahead and dive right in to the benchmarks. So in conclusion, I think it's pretty clear if you're somebody who really needs a productivity-based PC that you're not really concerned too much with power consumption, so it's not like you're running a battery or anything, the Threadripper platform pretty much is the no-compromise solution for those who need high-performance computing. 
at, at home. You know, if you're a power user or if you're somebody who does a lot of productivity-based apps or if you use your computer to make money, like if you're a, a business owner, that sort of thing, Threadripper does make sense in a lot of ways because there are benefits such as no worrying about lane sharing, there's no bandwidth sharing, all of your SSDs can be active while your GPU or multiple GPUs can also maintain their full 16 lanes. This is something that you do not get on a standard Ryzen or standard Intel based desktop. You have to go to the high end segment or the workstation segment, which is where Threadripper and Threadripper Pro reside. So I hope you guys found this video insightful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you're interested in building a Threadripper system, let me know the use case that you plan on using the CPU with. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.